What is up guys and welcome to of mine. We're gonna be rebuilding teams in the Premier League and I thought well, what better team to start with than Bournemouth. Obviously they're newly promoted, they ain't got obviously the best of teams in the league. Don't get me wrong, they're doing alright in real life, but you know, they're not the best team on FIFA, so I decided to do them first. And uh, to be fair, I mean this season's not gonna be like, you know, constant day after day, two days, three days. It's gonna be a kind of a, like every Saturday, every Sunday kind of video. But anyway, we're starting with Bournemouth and you know you know, obviously the rules are basically we can sign anyone there's nothing you know different about that you sell anyone sign anyone but we have to win the league the Premier League nothing else no cups no nothing just a league in five years so if we don't do it in our fifth year then we have basically failed rebuilding but you know the Bournemouth squad now they are actually that bad you know they're attacking you know wise midfield uh, wingers you know quite good you know the wingers definitely you know they've got a grade who's 77 raid and they've got a turbo who's 78 so don't get wrong a turbo is on loan so it'd be a, a big loss when we lose him at the end of the season but you know the defence needs work really and uh, you know that's where I was kind of focusing on this season because if I get the foundation right then obviously we can build on. So as you see the first player we asked him to sign is Scott Dan. Uh, obviously not as much money as I thought I had to sign him for but you know because he's high rated 78 but he's quite old so... Uh, at the end of the day, it was it wasn't that much money, and also Ben Taleb from Tottenham. You know, he didn't cost me much at all. It quite cheap, really. Say so seventy four rated. I thought I got a little steal there, and also Kieran Clark. I decided to bring him in. You know, he's he's still quite young. You know, twenty five seventy six rated. He yeah, got him on quite cheap as well, and also you know a left back. I need a new left back, and uh, Aaron Cresswell. I thought was the probably the perfect uh, position, the cheapest position. I thought he was the catching for this spot really. But anyway, this is the league halfway through the season, as you. See, we're not doing uh, too well, obviously. I mean, we're signing 15, so we're a bit away from relegation. But what has happened to Arsenal and Liverpool? I do not know at all. And that was the team halfway through as well. Not, you know, too much growth, really. I expected a bit more because, like, they have got a few young players, but they didn't grow as much as a fox. Don't get me wrong. We're not trading them. We're just simming all the way through the season. And uh, actually, this is how the season ended, you know. I forgot to tell you. No matches will be played. Every game will be simmed. I'll just be simming from uh, the end of the deadline day to January and then from the end of the deadline day, so February to the end of the season. As you see, we finished in uh, 16th there, so we didn't do that too well. But anyway, second season, our first signing was John Omi Bikel. Wanted to get him in, you know, cheap, you know, high-rated player. A bit old, but so what? And then I signed this free agent who was sick. Sent free rated, 20 years old, you know. One of the best free agents I've seen this year, to be fair. So I was quite glad with that signing. And also, I decided to also go in for another CDM. Uh, Kuate from, obviously, West Ham. I decided to go in for him. Um, quite a bargain signing again for kind of the rating he is. And also... Another beastly uh, free agent, you know, 21 years old, 69 rated goalkeeper, uh, Bridge. I thought he'd be quite good. And also Jack Colback. As you see, I am kind of getting mostly CDMs because I thought, you know, in the second season we did need to obviously strengthen our CDM spot. But also, I think the best buy of this year was getting Kieran Trippier. I absolutely love him in real life. I love him on the game. And uh, I was looking forward to obviously having him in my squad. But as you see there... I mean, the additions we've made, we are doing very well in the halfway through the league. We're sat in 17th, one place above relegation, and I just didn't know what was going on at all. I thought we needed to improve, and, uh, you know, kind of the opposite last season. We didn't sign any free agents, you know, pre-contract guys, to uh, obviously get them in next season. So I thought that's the first thing we'll do in January. I signed Victor Wanyama. I signed, obviously, a new striker, Ben Yedder. He's a quite good player on this game. Really good, really, you know, pacey guy. And also this guy, I don't know how to say his name properly. I think it's like Ekazi, whatever. He was, like, really good when he came. But... I also will be showing you kind of the big selling points in the season as well. And as you see there, Callum Wilson, he will be off on, uh, you know, away to our club. A lot of money for him I got, so I, I was quite glad. And also another signing, Bauma. I think his potential is about 83, so I was excited to get him for so cheap. And also, with also, with like Callum Wilson going, I had to get a few more strikers, a bit more firepower in that position. So I signed Patrick Banford and uh, Nua Dicko. Them additions, I thought, to the side could do pretty well, you know. They're both young. I think they both have quite good potential, so why not? And uh, obviously, I forgot to show you the 
the league at the end of the season. So I'm just going to show you here. As you see, we finished mid table. So, you know, big improvement from uh, halfway through the season. We actually got ourselves up to, you know, halfway. So, you know, that was the good thing. And also, this is the squad again. Not much growth. I mean, a phobia is growing quite a bit, which is good. But uh, Matt Ritchie, you know, here and there. But not too much growth anywhere else, really. But next season, season three, the, hopefully this season will win the league. Big, big signing, John Stones, 82 rated, sent three years old, massive signing in the centre-back position. And also a new left-back we needed, because Chris, well, I didn't think was the best, so we need to upgrade that position. As you see there, there were two players, Bamba or Davies, and I decided to go for Bamba. And also the goalkeeper position I thought needed upgrading, you know, Boric was old, not too good, so I decided to sign Steve Ulrich from Bayern Munich. And again, as you see, another player does go this time, it's uh, Grado this time. Um, I was actually meant to just sell him on my own because he wanted to leave the club, but you know he ended up just we ended up just my ball just ended up selling him. So a bit frustrated because I probably got about four million more out of it. But anyway, this is the league so far, and as you see, we're third place, which is absolutely sick. You know the pre-contracts helped us so much, and again another big player that goes is a Furby this time. We get a lot of money for him again. So you know I was wanting to sign a few more players, and as you see there, we do sign Delafeu on a pre-contract. I mean, so far this has been the closest season we have to have been winning the Premier League, obviously. And you know, I was kind of a, a bit unset that I, won't, you know, if we don't obviously won the league this season, we won't get to play Dilla for you. But just in case we didn't, I had to sign him on pre-contract. And the biggest signing of this, you know, series so far, Harry Kane, 83 rated to our club. He will be a massive help. And as you see there, 37 games played. Uh, all the clubs last game of the season. Look at the league. We are one point behind Arsenal. Crunch game. It came to the last you know, game of the season. Who we playing? Arsenal. So I decided to play it because, you know, I wanted to kind of see the celebrations and after. And I've decided to do that, you know, played the last game of the season where you'll see the celebrations happening. You know, serious lifting the trophy. And as you see there, they're on 74. We're on 73, you know. So we needed to win because if we drawn, they'd still win. If we lost, they'd have definitely won the league. And, you know, we couldn't have really drawn at all because uh, they'd have won on goal difference. But anyway, here's a side. And to be fair, I don't think their side was much better than ours, actually. Don't go wrong. They're a lot of good players they have a lot of good you know still players from the first season but you know I'm just going to show you the goals this time, not really the highlights. And, uh, you know, it was actually us that would open the lead, to be fair. I was quite surprised. Matt Ritchie getting the opener there. Uh, good strike pass, you know, Petr Cech with his left foot, with his strong left foot, you know, got a fantastic left foot. And to be fair, a lot of clubs came in for Matt Ritchie, you know, throughout the seasons. And, you know, he, he stayed. You know, he nearly went in the second season, but the transfer talks broke down. And uh, I was quite glad, really, because he did, our, he did the club quite well, you know. You know, it contributed a lot and I was quite glad he stayed because he was a really key player to our team but Arsenal would actually uh, level so you know off the bar over the line it counted obviously it does normally on FIFA because obviously it's a game and uh, Ramsey gets a good strike in there and as you see on the goal difference um, it did you know pass the line just a bit but you know not too much but anyway he made it 1-1 which was a bit frustrating because I thought I was dominating the game up until then really obviously not with any highlights you won't see that but before half time again I took the lead again with Harry Kane this time. You could argue what a sweaty goal, I know, but you know, I take it. I mean, this goal could, you know, could have won us the league. And I was thinking at this time, freaking hell, we're gonna win the league in our third season. To be fair, I think that's a bit of an achievement because I was expecting, you know, to actually finish, you know, far in the season far fifth. So to get in the third, that's quite good, really. But I see Harry Kane bag full of goals this season. So proud of him. And as you see there, we win the league two one. Quarter of the season, Martin, and well worth their title as champions here. And you said often before, Alan, you you can't take for granted you'll ever win anything again. So when you do get a winner's medal. They're getting here and celebrating. Just drink it in, milk the moment. It's easy to think that the good times will keep on rolling, but it's not always the case. I think these players appreciate that.
brilliant occasion. All credit to the organisation. At the final standings of the league, we finished on 76, two points ahead of Arsenal. Uh, not as goal, good goal difference, but you know we got the job done in the end, which I thought was fantastic. And to be fair, you'll see in a moment the squad report. The squad that we won the league with wasn't you know too good. I mean the defence I thought was the better out of the midfield and the striker position. Don't worry, we did have Harry Kane, which was 83 rated, but I'm glad I didn't have to play with him because I think he's absolutely crap on this career mode. But you know on this FIFA as well, as you see so much growth there that free agent we got the Brazilian uh, obviously we got him in the second season he was 20 years old and uh, 73 rated he's gone up six you know ratings in two seasons basically so really good and also we kept a lot of plays from the start of the season actually so you know they all did good they all grew and you know just a fantastic squad and I would recommend using Bournemouth in a career mode because you know they do have a lot of young talent and a, a really good team but anyway guys hope you enjoyed the episode hope you enjoyed something new I just thought I'd do it you know obviously FIFA and the season in real life come to the end so obviously I'll still be doing my career mode and all that stuff but anyway hope you enjoyed the episode if you have Please hit the like button, subscribe if you are new, and guys, I'll be seeing you later. Peace!